Hi hello. I am Mr. John. Welcome to the session. I think this video will be very useful to you. Let's go to the video. But before that please do. Subscribe. And turn on the. Notification by clicking the bell icon. Platelets. These are very small, disc-shaped cell fragments, 2 minus 4 micrometers in diameter, butted off from the cytoplasm of megacarocytes in the red bone marrow. Although they have no nucleus, their cytoplasm is packed with granules containing a variety of substance that promote blood clotting, which causes hemostasis. The normal blood platelet count is between 2 lox to 3.5 lox m3. The lifespan of platelet is between 8 and 11 days and those not used in the hemostasis are destroyed by macrophages, mainly in the spleen. Hemostasis. When your blood vessel is damaged, Loss of blood is stopped and healing occurs in a series of overlapping processes, in which platelets play a vital part. The more badly damaged the vessel wall is, the faster coagulation begins, sometimes as quickly as 15 seconds after injury. There are four stages. They are vasoconstruction, platelet plug formations, coagulations, thrombolysis. Let us see about those stages. Vasoconstruction. When platelets come into contact with the damaged blood vessels, their surface becomes sticky and adhere to the damaged wall. They then release serotonin and thromboxanes, which constricts the vessel, reducing or stopping blood flow through it. Platelet plug formation. The sticky platelets clump together and release other substances, including adenosine diphosphate, ADP, which attract more platelets to the site. Passing platelets stick to those already at the damaged vessel and they too release their chemicals. This is a positive feedback system by which many platelets rapidly gather at the site of vascular damage and quickly form a temporary seal. The platelet plug. Platelet plug formation is usually complete within 6 minutes of injury and can plug small holes in blood vessel walls. Coagulation. This is your complex process that also involves a positive feedback system, and only a few stages are included here. These clotting factors activate each other in a specific order, eventually resulting in the formation of prothrombin activator which is the first step in the common pathway. Prothrombin activates the enzyme thrombin, which converts inactive fibrinogen to insoluble threads of fibrin. Maturing blood clot traps blood cells and other plasma proteins, including plasminogen and is much stronger than the rapidly formed platelet plug. The final common pathway can be initiated by two processes, which often occur together, the extrinsic and intrinsic pathway. Thrombolysis. After clot has formed, the process of removing it and healing the damaged blood vessel begins. The breakdown of fibrin or fibrinolysis is the first stage. Plasminogen, trapped within the cloth as it forms, is converted to the enzyme plasmin by activators released from the damaged endothelial cells. Plasmin breaks down fibrin, progressively removing the clot to allow tissue repair to proceed. I hope that this video is useful to everyone. And please do subscribe my channel and turn on the notification by clicking the bell icon. For more notes. Thank you.